This is a hefty, hefty boy. YouTube, what's good? See you later gaming here and welcome back to another unboxing video. This time it's something very special. As you can kind of tell, the frame is much wider for both the cameras now, so um, it, it anticipates something much bigger. And as you probably tell by the title, it's this brand new disc edition PS5. I'm so stoked to have this in my hands, uh, as you can kind of tell from, I guess, the last video where I unboxed the fake PS5 from Alibaba. Um, it's taken an absolute mission to get this one. So they've been well out of stock in my area for the longest time. Uh, I actually forgot to cancel my order at my local JB Hi-Fi and they haven't given me a call as to whether one's in stock and I placed that over Christmas. So we're well into May now. So if they haven't got it by now, chances are I won't be getting one for a very long time. But thank God my friend in Sydney, Seb, uh, managed to put in an order uh, under his name and he got it in a week. So I went to Sydney recently over Easter and I just picked it up in person because this is a pretty hefty boy. Um, much heavier than that parcel that I shook around last time and could throw up in the air. This one's much heavier. So this is going to be my very first time seeing a PS5 disc edition or any PS5 actually in person. <laughs> So, I'm very excited. Um, my PS4, as I kind of mentioned in the last video as well, is dying. So, it's come at a very timely moment in my gaming career and gaming history. So, without further ado, let's kind of open this one up. Um, I guess before we do, we'll have a quick look at the box. But as we kind of know, good amount of storage on board, 825 gig, which is obviously much needed for the upgrade in games that have come around. Um, stunning games, breathtaking immersion, lightning speed. Uh, yeah, very limited detail on the box itself. Supports 4K, 8K, HDR. But let's go ahead, pull the tab out, I think. Let's lay this one down a little bit. Being very delicate here because I don't want to do any damage or whatever, but let's, I think, slide this one out a little bit. Ooh. Okay, yeah, they're just put up on the tabs of the box. But first off, here, I guess, don't want to do any damage here or anything, but I'll move this off to the side just for a second because that's the main console that's going to be the main draw card here but in the little box here we've got the quick start guide obviously um won't need to go over that in too much detail i assume that the setup will be pretty simple as it usually is for a um playstation console but something to make note of is the way that the stand goes on um yeah, I was uh, I was kind of flamed for that one from from Ina, Jordy, the editor on the video, and massive props to Ina on that video. He did a killer job. If you haven't checked him out, go on Twitter, Twitch. He has an awesome stream. We do the podcast on there. Um, yeah, he's he's awesome. He's really good. Um, warranty, safety guide. Hopefully this one doesn't have any disc ejecting issues like my PS4 did. That was annoying. Um, cool. Commercial use or rental of this product is prohibited. <laughs> I guess no one's getting my PS5 anytime soon. Um, the stand. Comes very well packaged compared to the uh, Alibaba PS5. Ooh, okay. I actually don't know what... Is this maybe like the controller? The controller mount that goes on the side here? Maybe. Um, 
Hey, we got some we got some shake effects on this one too. Very nice. But if I hold it still, it there we go. <laughs> Similar. Um, very nice. So, ooh. oh, okay. So that twists and rotates. So has a little lever action to it. But I assume that's for the different orientations. Um, as I said previously, mine will be laying down in my entertainment unit over there. So that one's all good. Uh, power cord, very similar to the other PlayStation power cords of recent history. And a HDMI to HDMI cord. Think a little controller charging cable here, USB to USB C. Not that I don't have enough of those cords around. Now, the next part is the controller. So, the controller is something I haven't held either. There's quite a bit of weight to this, very, very sturdy compared to my PS PS3, PS1, PS2 and obviously PS4 controllers. Um, feels very familiar um, when compared to previous PlayStation controllers. There's a lot, they're actually a bit more grippy here around the handles where it seems a bit more like an Xbox controller from feel. There's those little ridges here, I guess for the, where the button mount is. Obviously, that's pretty nice. What did he say? I think there's, yeah. You won't be able to see this on my camera, um, but I was just checking the little symbols that are embossed in the controller. They're really, really tiny, but on the controller, if you have good enough eyesight or if you have like a macro lens or something like that, you'll be able to see the cross, triangle, square, and circle symbols on the back here. It's a very, very cool detail. Ridiculous. I am just marveling at the controller itself, but it feels comfy. Um, nice little click and tactile feedback from each of the buttons. So that's the triggers, the bumpers. That's the circle, square, cross, triangle. arrow directional keys and then obviously um, the sticks, the sticks which feel very, they don't feel super tight and I think that's been a criticism of the PS5 is that these sticks have come a bit loose over time um, and some of them pretty quick. Also got the, what looks to be a button here beneath the PlayStation's home button. I think that might be to quickly disable your mic as there is a microphone symbol beneath it. Um, I think it's also still got the options and what looks to be maybe a share button. The PS4 Glow has disappeared from this, but it looks to have been transitioned to the ring around the touchpad. So it'd be interesting to see what games utilize that feature. Interesting. So pretty heavy. Um, obviously we'll have to have a bit of play time with this controller to give a full feedback of it. Obviously I'm a big fan of the PlayStation controllers because they're a little bit less clunky, but this one, this one does feel a bit more akin to an Xbox controller, but either however you play, whether it be like that, or if you do that, or even like that, um, for like a claw style, it still feels pretty comfy. I could see myself getting like some, the little back paddles on this because it does feel quite natural there. But hey, it all feels very, really comfy. Um, obviously, we'll be able to give a bit more of a detailed review once I've had some play time with it. So now it's time for the PS5 itself. So I will kind of, I'm gonna move the box back up here. <laughs> And I'll slide it out because I don't want to damage it in any way. I'm being super gentle here.
All right. As you can see, much, much bigger and much heavier than that of the uh, Alibaba one. Good protection here with the cardboard. Oh, styrofoam boxing. And well wrapped. All right. Man, I feel like this is Christmas. It doesn't, I should have unboxed this in July, but hey. Man, oh man. This is a hefty, hefty boy. Wowee. This is big. Really, really big. Um, I've seen a couple of people have different colored panels and that sort of thing for their setups. I think Jordy got a custom one too. Um, similar in terms of ports to the um, PS4, it looks like, with the two USBs at the back here. Um, an ethernet, HDMI and power. Some nice little detail here with the PlayStation symbols on the inside. And I don't think that's a port at the back. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it could be like a USB-C port, but I don't think it actually is. No, it's just a bit small. And it doesn't look like anything would go in there anyway, but it does look like a port for some reason. Oddly enough, I don't know if that's maybe to help you pull off the panels or whatever. Um, we won't be pulling off the panels in this video. Sorry. If you want to see that, go see another channel. <laughs> I'm out of here. Um, I'm kind of just going to do a slow rotate here so that everyone can see as I transition around to the front here. It's so cool. Uh, obviously the disc version here, very minimalist front with the single USB-A and single USB-C outputs at the front here. Uh, looks like the fans through there, which in my entertainment unit are going to get dusty as all hell. So I will have to clean this out pretty regularly. Nice little, I guess, UX feature changes here on the buttons. Uh, my PS4 was the original PS4, which got the eject button stuck at times. So that button no longer works on my PS4. So I have to use the custom like button from the start menu. So this looks much, much improved on that. Yeah, wow. It is super, super heavy. And if we lay it down on its side here. Got a couple of little piece of, in pieces of information. And I'll see if I can maybe slide this on. Maybe I do need this, the guide to show me. So if it's standing up for horizontal, so the disc will go underneath, it looks like. Make sure the hook is in position as illustrated. Matching up with the symbols there. Eventually. I am not a smart man. Um. <laughs> oh, so it just needs to be rotated. A little bit. Okay, well I'll kind of work that out a little bit later. But... <laughs> Something to make note of is the way that the stand goes on. But I think, yeah, this is a pretty quick unboxing review. Um, obviously I haven't played any games on it as yet as this was a fresh unboxing, but I am very excited to test this out. I don't know what I'm gonna play first. Um, either Astro's Playroom, so the, the one that's installed on this bad boy. Um, and in a week's time, it's my anniversary with my girlfriend and she managed to get me a copy of Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. So I'll probably start playing that one next week because she bought it with my knowledge, but was not willing to 
let me play it at this stage. Um, which is why I'd kind of delayed hold unboxing the PS5 a little bit, because I wanted to get um, that one to be my first game that I played. Uh, it is very cool. I am excited to play this one and have it sort of replace my PS4. The PS4 will move to the office and hopefully be like a streaming device. This one's going to be more of a living room play sit on the couch sort of thing which is going to be fun and i'm greatly looking forward to it but i think that's about all i have to mention at this stage obviously i'll try and come back at some future point with other details and insights on how the ps5 stacks up comparative to the ps4 uh and obviously the catalog and library of games and reviews on that but for the moment i think that's gonna wrap us up so if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to not leave without leaving a like as it really does help the channel grow. Until next time, I'll see you later. Tap the bell icon after subscribing and you'll never miss a video again. And consider checking out my Facebook page as well for daily gaming updates and news. Thanks guys. YouTube what's good, see you later gaming here. Could you believe that today marks the 10th anniversary since the PS Vita's launch in the West? Well today we're going to go through why this device was so ahead of its time.